time to know the top stories of the day. I am Ace Perez and this is News Bits Tonight. A Quezon City Court on Friday, February 14, issued an arrest warrant against former Senator Antonio Trillanes IV for allegedly plotting rebellion against the national government. For the details, here's Rob Gumba. The Quezon City Metropolitan Trial Court Branch 138 issued the arrest warrant against Trillanes, Peter Jumel Bicoy Advincula, Junel Sangalang, Yolanda Villanueva Ong, Father Flaviano Villanueva, Father Robert Alejo, Monique, Vicente Romano III, Joel Saracho, Boom Enriquez, and Eduardo Asierto. This is in relation to the Ang Totoong Narcolist video circulated online in May last year, alleging Congressman Paolo V. Duterte and Senator Christopher Bongo is involved in the illegal drug trade. Go and Duterte have already denied the allegations. Three of the accused have already posted bail of 10,000 pesos. Trillanes said in a statement that the latest case is yet another proof that the Duterte administration continues to weaponize the law against political opposition, critics, and the media. He emphasized that he will be covered by such political persecution. According to Article 141 of the Revised Penal Code of the Philippines, people conspiring to commit the crime of sedition shall be punished by prisión correccional in its medium period and a fine not exceeding 2,000 pesos. Rob Gumba, Newsbits Tonight. In other news, Valentine's Day was supposed to be their wedding day, but these couple ended up in jail after they were arrested in a by bus operation in Tagum City. For the details, here's Julia Trivita. A couple were arrested the day before their wedding when the authorities seized 9.4 million worth of illegal drugs during a by bus operation on Thursday night, February 13, in Tagum City. The suspect, who was identified as Bimbol Rabosa Papata, alias Bimbol, 39, and a resident of Bye Bye Pindasan Mabini Davao de Oro, was arrested together with his living partner, 46 year old Jeanette Narcelo Saikon. In an interview with Papata, he said they are scheduled to wed on February 14 in their hometown in Mabini in a Muslim ceremony. Aside from the couple, also arrested was Rex Kumanya, 28, and a resident of Visayan Village. Papata is considered the top 7 provincial most wanted drug personality in Davao de Oro and also under the Directorate for Intelligence Drugs watch list. Papata has been under surveillance after drug peddlers in Davao City identified him as their source. Julia Trivita, Newsbeats Tonight. Some 100 couples celebrated Valentine's Day in a special way after they tied the knot in Pag-ibig Fund's I Do, I Do, Araw ng Pag-ibig, a mass wedding. For the details, Ralph Yemit. The mass wedding was participated by couples from different parts of Southern Mindanao on Valentine's Day, February 14, at Garden Oasis Convention Center in Barrio Obrero, Davao City. Pag-ibig Fund sponsored the event which started in 2012. With this year's Filipiniana theme, Pag-ibig stresses the importance of intimate union and equal partnership of a man and a woman by providing free matrimonial civil ceremony. In its ninth year, it aims to spread awareness on the importance of savings and to help them make effective decisions with their financial resources. Southern Mindanao Area Head Manolito Oligario said they learned that a lot of couples opt to settle in a live-in setup as getting married can be very expensive. The Pag-ibig Fund has wed over 1,000 couples through the program since 2012. Ralph Nemeth, Newsbits Tonight. To check for more stories, visit our website www.sunstar.com.ph slash Davao, subscribe on our YouTube channel, and follow our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also grab a copy of Sunstar Davao at Davao Central convenience stores, 7-Eleven, and nearest news outlets. That's all you need to know for tonight. Happy Valentine's Day!